All right, well, it made RT News just now, two minutes ago. President Maduro said, your coup has failed. You failed, U.S. Your, your, all your attempts to try to put me down have failed. There you go. Maduro won the fight. He got the uprising ceased. So there is, uh, the streets are virtually, there's like nobody in the streets right now. I think they're all taking a break right now, regrouping, regathering, figuring out what they're probably going to do next. So, but they tried, they gave it their all yesterday. You got to hand it to these people. They really tried. They really tried to get their fucking government back. So, but it didn't go so well for them. Maduro slapped them down. So Bolton's like, well, it's not a coup attempt. I, we're just trying to get the legitimate person in there. He's not the legitimate person. Legitimate person is who they voted in is Maduro. They just, they just happen to vote in somebody that just doesn't give a fuck about them. And the sad thing is there's still people that are somewhat loyal to him, that stand in, stand in front of him when he's having these speeches. Fuck him, dude. I'd like spit in his face, dude, you fucking asshole. You don't fucking give people food or water. You have no electricity. Well, that's not so much his fault. That's the U.S. government, you know, that sent Champ over there and blew out his power. So that's, that's not Maduro's fault that they don't have any power. He did try. He did have the power up and running again. And the Chinese were in there and they had it going. The Russians were in there. And it's up and running, up and running. Yay! Boom! Just like that. It's out. You know? That's John Bolton for you. He's just a piece of shit. He's a war hawk, dude. They, they want to make it miserable down there. They want they want more uprisings. They they want a coup attempt. Problem is, is these people didn't have the proper armament. They didn't have the proper guns. They didn't have the proper rocket launchers. They didn't have anything to take out these armored vehicles. So they were basically ran over in the streets by these armored vehicles that were shooting 50 cal machine guns at people on top. And that was on the news. And then you had people throwing mocktail cocktails at the vehicles, setting them on fire and pulling them out and shooting the drivers. And it was just barbaric. It was medieval, dude. But, you know, that's what you get when you try to when you start running over crowds of people with a fucking armed vehicle, dude. After a while, people start getting pissed. So he's, he's ruthless, dude. He's a ruthless, ruthless tyrant. I'm just surprised he didn't use chemical weapons on his people yesterday. Jesus, this guy's got a lot of chemical weapons. I bet you didn't know that. Venezuela's got a lot of chemical and biological weapons. Let's pray that he let's play that Maduro does not use these on his people next. So, all right. As always, I love you. And peace and love from Fargo. You're the best crowd in the world. You know it and I know it. So I'm just giving you live... Live news, up-to-date news. So as of right now, Maduro said your coup attempt is a failure, Bolton. You failed. You tried, and you tried, and you tried, and you tried. But now you failed. So this is why we have two aircraft carrier groups in the area steaming their way down towards Venezuela right now. Will they get so close as to getting within strike range? God, I hope not. I hope they don't get within striking range and start attacking the capital, and then we'll have all kinds of problems down there with Russia. So I don't give a fuck about Maduro. If they want to go in there and bomb Maduro, I don't care. It's the Russians you don't want to get hit in the crossfire. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Don't hit no Russians. So, because that's not going to go so well for you. So. <laughs> that'll really that'll really stir up a fucking shitstorm. Then we'll have the Zircon missile being fired at our ships, ripping them apart like a 12 gauge shotgun hitting a tin can, dude. The kinetic energy behind that thing, dude, it would just rip a ship right in half. I don't care how big that ship is. One Zircon, dude, and there's no way to defend against it. Like the United States Navy couldn't even defend against three Brahmos missiles. And Brahmos is much slower. And Brahmos is from India and Russia, and they that's their missile, the Brahmos. Well, it's the same type of engine in in the in the Zircon, but the Zircon's much faster. So, at traveling and coming in at Mach four, dude, you ain't. What are you gonna do against that? Mach four, you ain't stopping that motherfucker, Trump. So I don't know. Hopefully, cool heads prevail today. Hopefully, you can get on the phone with Maduro or fucking, especially Trump. Maduro probably don't want to listen to you because you're fucking. You just try to kill his ass. So he probably not gonna want to talk to you now. All right, I'll get him up. So, 
But uh, all right, I got to let you go. I got to get my little guy up and off to school. So you guys have a good day.